हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस एंड टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द स्टिफनेस ऑफ द मटेरियल एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिफाइन एंड एक्सप्लेन द टू इंपॉर्टेंट स्टिफनेस वन इज द एक्सल स्टिफनेस एंड वन इज द बेंडिंग स्टिफनेस और द फ्लेक्जर स्टिफनेस एंड वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जांपल सो इट विल बी मोर इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड इजी टू फॉलो so first of all to define the stiffness stiffness is basically the ratio of the force dividing divided by the unit displacement now to explain this 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 terminology i consider an example for example this is in a rod and you applied in a load tension load t for example on this rod and you have some stretch in this rod and you increase the dimension of this rod by 1 cm so now for example before the dimension the length was 2 cm but now the length of this rod is 3 cm so it means you produce or you increase the elongation you increase the length or the dimension of this rod by 1 cm so you produce a unit displacement in this rod under the applied tension load so now for example this load may be 5 kN or maybe 10 kN to produce this a unit dimension so now we will call this dividing these two terminology this force for example it was a 5 kN force required to produce a unit dimension we have a unit displacement here 1 cm so now this will be equal to the 5 kN per cm so this is known is the stiffness of this material so a unit displacement produced in a body by the application of the force this property is known as the stiffness and there are two important types of the stiffness one is the axial stiffness and the second one is the bending stiffness so now these two are very different from one another how so axial stiffness is mostly happened or mostly occurred in the members like columns like trusses so i would call it so if i consider here in a column for example and i apply the load here force if so it will show some deformation for example when it produces a unit displacement here and it been compressed here to a new dimension this is the new dimension of the column and we see here for example 1 cm is the deformation in this column so the force required to produce a unit deformation here in this case will be known as the axial stiffness and axial stiffness can be found out by this formula ea divided by l this is known as the axial stiffness and it is mostly for the columns and trusses so e is the material property here elasticity of the material of which this column is made e a is the cross sectional area for example there is a column so we have here height and here is the width of the column cross section so area and length is the l is the length of this column so in this from this formula we can find the axial stiffness of the column the second one is the bending stiffness and the bending stiffness is for beams is for slab and for flexural member that are subjected to the bending and in this case it is basically the moment required to produce a unit rotation will be known as the bending stiffness and in bending stiffness can be found out bending stiffness is equal to the e i divided by l now e is the elasticity of the material again is the young modulus or elasticity i is the moment of inertia of the beam for example rectangular beam so b 
is the width, h is the height, so you can find the moment of inertia bh cubed divided by 12, the moment of inertia of the cross section, and l is the length of the beam. For example, there's a beam that has been loaded here. So l is this length of the beam. So in this way, we can find the bending stiffness for the flexion member. So in this case, it is the moment required to produce a unit rotation. While in axial stiffness, it is the force required to produce a unit deformation. So these are the two main types of the stiffness. Hope you guys understand. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.